again YouTube, welcome to Get Your Sax Together, I'm pro saxophonist Jamie Anderson and this week I'm going to teach you how to play Take 5 by Dave Brubeck. This is another In My Sax Hall of Fame series and there's a card up there linking to the playlist with all my sax Hall of Fame classics up there, some wicked stuff in there, go and check it out. Now, this is Take 5 by the Dave Brubeck Quartet featuring the sax player Paul Desmond. Unusually, it's in 5-4, which is why it's called Take 5. Now, I've written it all out for alto and tenor, so go down into the description and get your free PDF, which you can download, print it off, and follow along as we learn Take 5. Now, just before we do that, if you like the content on the channel, please remember to subscribe click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new stuff. Go and check out my Instagram feed and leave a comment and give the video a thumbs up and then all that good stuff will push me further up the rankings of YouTube and help me to bring you more cool sax stuff. Right, let's learn how to play Take 5. First of all, let's deal with the structure of Take 5 and it's A, B, A. You play the first section, you've got a bridge section which is different and then you play the first section again. Now I'm going to play this on alto like the original, but if you go and get the PDF in the description, I've written it out for alto and tenor, and on the screen I'm going to have the notes and fingerings for alto and tenor. Let's deal with the A section first. Now the A section has three different phrases, one, two, three. So here is the first phrase played nice and slowly. <laughs> And here's that first phrase played slightly faster. <laughs> phrases two and three are small tag-on phrases which go on the end of the first phrase. So here is the ending phrase number two played nice and slowly. Now here's that phrase two, that tag ending, played slightly faster. Now here's phrase three, that tag ending, phrase three, played slowly. Now here's phrase three, played faster. What we're gonna do to build our A section then is, we're gonna play phrase one, and then ending two, ending three. Then we're gonna play phrase one again, but switch them and have ending three, ending two. So the whole A section sounds like this. Moving on to the bridge section now, the B section. Again, this is gonna be in three phrases. We've got one long phrase and two different endings. So here is phrase one of the bridge played slowly. I know that's quite a long phrase, but let's play that now a little bit faster. Moving on to phrase two in the bridge, this is how it sounds played slowly. Now here's phrase two of the bridge, played faster. And finally, the last piece of music we have to learn is phrase three of the bridge, which is the short ending, and it sounds like this, played slowly. Now here's that third phrase of the bridge, played faster. To jigsaw the pieces of the bridge together, we're gonna to play phrase one, and then phrase two. 
Then we're gonna play phrase one again, and we're gonna finish with phrase three. So the whole bridge sounds like this. And that's it, that's all the material we have now to play the whole melody. So we're gonna play A section, B section, A section. Now when we string it all together, it sounds like this. So that's the whole melody. Now, just a quick note about phrasing. Really important to listen to how Paul Desmond plays it to get that really nice phrasing, the short notes, the slightly ghosted notes they're called where you don't play the note at full volume. So if you wanna learn how to transcribe things really accurately, up there is a card linked to my transcription series, and that's really gonna help you to learn to listen to things and transcribe them yourself and copy the phrasing. That's really gonna bring your playing forward. That's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed the video, learning how to play Take 5. Absolute sax classic. So remember, down in the description you get the PDF that's got the music written out for alto and tenor. Please do subscribe to the channel, click the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Go and check out my Instagram, give it a nice thumbs up, send me a comment, let me know how you're getting on learning Take 5 or any other questions about the channel. And I'll see you next week on Get Your Sax Together. See you later. The first phrase, them, oh, hang on. Yeah, okay. <laughs>